Hey everyone, Jason Verdelli, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to develop your online marketing strategy from the inside out. And this is absolutely critical when it comes to making sure that our online marketing strategy is in line with the goals of our organization. I mean, there's a lot of tools out there, there's a lot of tactics and strategies. I mean, it can get cr quite confusing. Uh, one of the things that we want to make sure we do is make sense of this all. We want to develop a model that we can understand. We understand why we're doing what we're doing, and we understand what we're measuring. And we want to develop a model that can adjust through time because some of the things that we do right now might change over time based upon the conditions. So if different social networks become more popular or maybe the social networks that we decided to use are no longer as popular as they, uh, they used to be or maybe some of the tactics uh, have changed or maybe the different rules of online marketing have changed. So again, we want to make sure that all along the path of doing this that we have a model, we have a system that we're working off of to make sure that we're headed down the right path towards our goals. Again, we want to be very purpose driven here uh, when it comes to developing this strategy. So uh, the first thing that I would do, again, before developing these, this hub and spoke system of a strategy is to define the actual goals of your organization. So I urge you if you, if you haven't, if you don't have a sheet of paper right now, get a blank white sheet of paper, just draw a circle under the center here and uh, in this circle, you can, you can draw a little line out here and just to define, write out exactly, you know, what are the goals of your organization. Just pick one goal and uh, you might say, we want to increase sales of this product line uh, by, say, $2 million over the course of the next year. So uh, whatever that goal is, you want to make sure it's specific because, again, based upon the actual specificity of the goal, uh, that's, going to be, that's going to help us define exactly what level that we employ with our online marketing strategy. So it's not all about the tactics, but sometimes it's you know uh, how much or how often we use some of the tools that exist out there. So again, in this particular case, I might use uh, sales to, again, just put a dollar sign here, here to, uh, to show us here, sales goal. Then what we want to do is draw a circle just outside of here. And uh, from here, we want to think through exactly you know, what are the action steps that have to take place in order to achieve that goal? So is it a, say, a follow-up phone call or an email? You know, is it a contract being signed? You know, is it an online purchase? You know, what, what is the actual action step that needs to take place in order to, again, achieve that goal? And, and this step, as you can see here, we're starting from the center. We're starting with the goal in mind. And uh, what we want to think through here as we're developing our strategy is, is some of the tools that exist out here and the strategies and the tactics, we've got to think through, okay, what can we employ in this particular step in order to make this either more, this process more efficient or more effective? So, you know, at the follow-up stage, how do we essentially, what, what can we employ during the follow-up stage to make sure that it's be, being more impactful? So do we send a, maybe a, do we add maybe a video email uh, strategy in order to uh, maybe follow up with our prospects uh, during the, maybe the close phase of a, a sales cycle? So we might put a video email here, just as an example. Uh, it might be... Again, it might be video email, it might be a, uh, uh, another email that goes out, maybe sending them a particular report on something that's preparing them uh, for the close. Uh, it could be if you're looking at, in case of, say, uh, an, an online transaction, it, this also could be uh, a series of emails or it could be a, uh, something that you're putting out onto your uh, Facebook page if you know you want to have a, if you have a sale coming up that, uh, again, you might want to start employing certain things in social media in order to, to make sure that whatever it is that you're doing, that email campaign that you send out, uh, that you're prepping people for that. You're making this whole process more effective and efficient. So uh, the next circle that we want to draw out from here is essentially we want to think through exactly what are the action steps that it's taking to get to these action steps. So these are all the action steps that are closest to the the goal uh, that we're trying to achieve. But again, we want to think through exactly, you know, how do we get to the point where we can follow up with somebody? How do we get to the point where we can send them a video email? How do we get to the point where we can even email them in general? Because we have to be able to have information in order to do that. We have to have their email address. We have to have maybe that phone number. Uh, so 
let's think of things that we that that we want to employ there or that we're already employing. So maybe uh, we want to employ, say, an email uh, subscription. Again, something as simple as that. We might want to uh, employ maybe uh, inviting them to a webinar. So a part of our sales process might be getting them to come to a webinar. From there, we do a video email follow-up or maybe uh, just a, or maybe an autoresponder email campaign uh, from that webinar in order to get them to maybe make a purchase or take the next step in our sales process. So again, in this outer circle that we want to think through, again, what are some of the things that we're doing right now? So let's list that out. But then let's also list some of the other tools, tactics, and strategies that we could employ to make this more effective or to even automate some of this. I mean, some of the things you're doing right now, you'd be surprised at some of the tools that exist out there uh, that can actually automate a lot of the different things that you're doing right now. Maybe even automate your webinar process. There are tools out there for that. So we wouldn't really think through... Again, starting with the goal in mind, moving out from there, and next action steps, and then the next action steps. And then what we want to do, again, th this circle can be as small or as big as you like. If you have uh, uh, not as a comp you don't ha really have a complicated sales process, and again, this is, we're assuming we have a sales goal here, uh, then you, know, you might not have a lot of layers here in your inner circle. But again, point is, is that we want to figure out once we have control of the information, once we have control of the situation. So in most cases, this is, you know, uh, make, we have the person's you know, phone number, email. We have permission to send them an email. Uh, there's a certain steps that we are able to uh, control the, the communication. That's all taking place in this inner circle here. So in the strategy here, in the hub and spoke system, everything out in the spokes is designed to drive people directly into this process. So driving them to that email subscription, driving them into that webinar, uh, driving them again to the next steps that we want to take in order to achieve the goal. So in this case, this might be S, you know, search engine optimization. We might want to employ some search engine optimization tactics in order to drive people into maybe certain pages of our website, maybe a landing page. Uh, again, maybe that email subscription, maybe that webinar. Uh, we might want to employ, you know, pay-per-click advertising. We might want to employ, uh, say, Facebook. We might want to, you know, we might want to employ LinkedIn, possibly, or activities that we have there. Again, point is that no matter what it is, and again, this this could be this could be absolutely huge based based upon your strategy and also based upon the time and resources that you have. But the point is, is that all your spokes out here are designed to send people directly into your hub. And again, you think of your hub as all the different uh, the the action steps that have to take place in order to achieve that goal. Once you had the uh, correct information, the spokes uh, that when we look at the spokes here, this is in for, this is essentially a place where we don't have the information. We don't have uh, essentially we're, we're trying to. Uh, capture that person's interest and attention to come to maybe it's our website, maybe it's a website that drives the email subscription, maybe it's an online community that does that. Uh, so you might have a website, you might have say an e-commerce website, but you're building an online community for interest groups uh, that are people that do purchase your product. But essentially, that those interest groups might be a way uh, to develop email subscriptions to get people to give you the permission to maybe send them an email. Uh, not only about what's going on, say, in the community, but also about specials and things like that that are going on. But everything that you're doing out here, again, is, is, is for the whole, sole purpose of really, again, driving right into the hub. And when you look at that, when you look at this model, then you can, you can ask yourself, okay, is LinkedIn right now, is this uh, actually driving people into our funnel? Or should we be using LinkedIn right now with the time and resources that we have to uh, somewhere in this process, you know, can we use LinkedIn maybe as a, as part of our follow up process, you know, or, or are we just using LinkedIn as a way to to make new contacts and to drive them uh, maybe into our website, into our online community? Uh, so again, we, we want to think through exactly how we're using this, how we're using Facebook, how we're using search engine search engine optimization to 
our advantage, how we're using pay-per-click, uh, we're, you know, event marketing, video marketing, directories, uh, again, there's a lot of different uh, places out on the web that are intended, a lot of different spokes out there that are intended to drive, uh, drive people back into uh, your hub. But it's important to, to figure that out. Draw this out. So think through exactly, does it make sense? Uh, so when I, again, when I'm thinking through in a strategy, I'm, th I'm saying, does this actually achieve, does pay-per-click get people to come and actually fill out the email subscription? And more importantly, if you already employ this, so say you already have this written out, you might look at this and say, okay, well, I'm already doing pay-per-click. I'm already doing search engine. We're uh, search engine optimization. We're guest posting and things like that. Um, but it's not driving the results that we want. Uh, and so one of the things we want to make sure we do is we want to make sure we empl uh, employ the right measurement tools and, and we want to make sure we're measuring the right things to uh, see, hey, is this working, is this working, or should we be tweaking what we're doing inside of maybe one of these areas in order to, to make everything more effective. So again, if that pay-per-click campaign, Google AdWords, is not driving more email subscribers or not driving more people to sign up for your webinar, then again, we might want to look at, okay, is the, do we want to uh, change up or uh, adjust the way that we're approaching pay-per-click advertising? Or do we uh, want to look at our email subscription? Is, our, is, it, you know, is it attractive enough? Is it, uh, is it offering something worthwhile? Uh, or can, it be, uh, can the offering be better for people to, to want to subscribe to your newsletter, your blog, or to, to your download? So again, it, it, you never, the biggest mistake I find with uh, some of the internet marketing strategies, they look and they say, okay, our spokes, what we're doing out here, yeah, PPC doesn't work. Pay-per-click doesn't work. You know, Facebook doesn't work. LinkedIn doesn't work. Um, you know, everywhere we're at right now just doesn't work. But then they realize where they're sending them to is, you know, a, a webinar page or an email subscription page that's just absolutely poor. Or maybe it's, just, it's not doing, it's not really uh, uh, working for them. So maybe they're driving the right traffic, but it's just not converting really well. So, again, that's why we want to make sure we employ, uh, as we develop this, we want to make sure we employ the right measurement tools um, and know, to know what we're measuring, how often we're measuring it, in order to uh, make sure this whole process is working efficiently for us. So, uh, this is again, this is just a general overview of this part of building this model. But I urge you to think through some of the things that I mentioned with this. I mean, really draw this out on your own and uh, define exactly. You know, what are you doing right now? What do you want to do to drive people into your your funnel, into your hub? And is it, you know, what are you measuring right now? And is there something you could be doing inside of this process? Do you already have a bunch of people that are inside of this process right now that you're not moving down towards the center of your hub? And if you're not, uh, start there. Because none of this matters unless you're actually moving, unless you're getting, getting, your, uh, uh, process, getting it to work from here down into here. This is, of course, your goal. So uh, this is really, really critical to go through. Now, Again, if you're getting started with this or if you're looking at this saying, my God, Jason, you just went over a bunch of stuff that's, you know, we're just not ready for this, uh, feel free to give me a call, send me an email, uh, subscribe here to jasonverdelli.com, and uh, I'll actually, I can help you uh, define this particular strategy. Uh, we'll figure out if it makes sense for you, and then uh, from there we can figure out uh, how to actually get this into place. So, again, you can uh, give me a call at my office, 717-657-7018. Again, 717-657-7018. Uh, or you can just send me an email at jasonv at phase2solutions.net. Again, Jason V is in Victor at phase2solutions. That's the number two, solutions.net. And, of course, jasonverdelli.com. You can subscribe or fill out a contact form there, and I'll be sure to, uh, to get in touch with you. But, again, hopefully uh, this makes a lot of sense for you. Hopefully it's been helpful, and I wish you luck in developing your online marketing strategy.